Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Limitless Studios TV. This is episode 63. Um, be sure to check out the forum at our, on our website. It's at forum.limitless-studios.com. Um, you can post uh, anything you want there, really. Uh, we've got instrument recording for posting like recording tips. Uh, we've got equipment section uh, for gear chat. And uh, we've got mix advice and all kinds of other stuff. So go over there and check that out. And uh, also check out our streams on uh, Friday and Sunday. Uh, on Fridays, we have it around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yep. And uh, on Sundays, uh, we do it around 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are we going to do today? Um, today, we're going to do some uh, uh, MIDI programming with drums. Um, we got a couple of questions about it. And uh, you can sort of see in the background over there that we have a MIDI keyboard. Right there. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a really cheap one from like way back in the day, like 1995 or something. Um, and I've had it around the house for like ever. So, but it has MIDI out, and that's all you need. Um, and we've got that running into um, the Fast Track Ultra. Fast Track Ultra. Which, the input. Yep. You got to run it into the input from the output of your MIDI um, MIDI device. Yeah. Um, and we'll go over all that. But basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be inside Reaper recording the drums um, using the keyboard so you don't have to actually go in and you know do all the click keep, uh, keeping on clicking with the mouse and things like that it works exactly the same way as like an electronic drum set would yeah you just send it out the MIDI out into the input on whatever interface you're using um, there's some settings you'll have to tweak in Reaper and we'll get into that so let's go over and uh, check out the keyboard so here we are at uh, the keyboard that I brought over here this is a 19 year old miracle piano teaching system <laughs> um, so uh, any keyboard will work that has a MIDI in and out this is a MIDI cab cable right here um, it's a digital cable it's got five pins and uh, on the back of this keyboard you can see right there those two ins and outs those are in and out for MIDI and on this keyboard you want to plug it into the output uh, of that and on the back of the Fast Track Ultra um, is going to be that same connector, and you want to be plugging the other end of your MIDI cable into the input of that connector. Um, MIDI cables um, don't go uh, male and female. Um, the connectors are always, or the cables are male, and the um, connectors on the back of your devices are female. So you don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the output of the keyboard, like so. And now that that's plugged into the output, we are going to go ahead and go inside of Reaper, show you how to set that up, and start programming some drums. All right, so here we are inside of Reaper. Uh, there's a couple things you need to do here before you uh, start recording your MIDI notes. Uh, first thing, you need to go to the Preferences. Uh, this may be a little different on Windows, but for, no, it's about the same. For this, we're using Mac OS X version. And uh, just go to the d your device, and go to your MIDI devices. And then, uh, as you see, here's the Fast Track Ultra, or whatever interface you're using. Um, then you just want to right-click on that and enable the input, uh, and that will allow you to get your MIDI notes uh, into Reaper. Mm -hmm. And another thing we're using here, uh, just real quick, is Auto Quantize, which is pretty cool. Uh, you just right click on this uh, record arm button and go down here to track recording settings and you can click uh, this little checkbox to turn it on and then uh, you can quantize uh, on the fly to whatever uh, t time signature you're wanting to do or actually this is a, uh, what do you call these? Oh, I oh, beat, uh, it's the beat measure or something. Yeah. I don't know. Eight, I don't know what it's actually notes called. per measure. Yeah. A sixteenth note is usually about right, unless you're doing some crazy fast stuff. Yeah. Then you might want to use thirty-second notes. Uh huh. And uh, so now we're all set up here. I've got all these tracks already um, pre-laid uh, out. Uh, we're using Steven Slate Drums 3.5 here um, for the drums. And I'll just go ahead and open up the mixer here so you can see it. There it all is. And uh, so that's what you're going to be hearing your drums. Uh, from you can also do this with superior drummer and easy drummer and so on. Yeah, yeah, it'll work with any um, uh, virtual instrument. Yeah, including like synths and yeah, it'll work with synths or stuff like that. 
Yeah, or you, you've got, you know, your uh, uh, gu guitar modeling stuff, <laughs> if yeah. you really want to do. That all sound, if you use guitar, it sounds MIDI, though. You don't really want to use any sort of um, guitar that doesn't uh, require a DI box. Yeah. Um, just straight software guitar really doesn't sound that great at no. all. Um, but you can use it for, like, uh, orchestras and stuff like that. Uh, East West um, software company sells a lot of orchestra type deal and they actually sound amazing. Yeah. And you can trigger all this with a MIDI keyboard. So uh, I guess we can go through some of the drum sounds here over the keyboard. Um, it's your bass drum, you got some snares, um, and, you know, toms, you got everything on here. Just go down the keyboard and all your cymbals and whatnots. And uh, so it even this this is a not a full um, four octave uh, keyboard, but it still encompasses all of the MIDI notes. If you go down here, it, you're not even getting any sound. So uh, you don't need an insane amount of uh, an insanely huge MIDI keyboard in order to get this to work. Yeah. Um, but uh, so yeah, those are the sounds, and I guess we can go ahead and record a little something. A little simple beat. Yeah. Uh, Keep in mind, I am not a keyboard player, nor am I a keyboard drum player. So I will do my <laughs> best, but uh, this is, might not end well, but go ahead and record something and we'll see what we got. All right, uh, I guess here we go. All right, let's see what we got. So you know you can do you can make your beats uh, just like that, uh, easy, um, pretty easy stuff to do. This works exactly the same way as a, an electronic drum kit, um, but electronic drum kits are fairly expensive. So yeah, um, a MIDI keyboard or some sort of a MIDI controller is a cheap way to easily program your drums. Yep. And so once you stop recording, you click Save All, and there you can see all the MIDI notes. Mm -hmm. have been recorded and now you can play that I guess I should be able to play it yep Ooh. And we have no idea how that sounds since we were uh, recording with a metronome and the auto quantize was on, so I don't know. Yeah, if you have the auto up a quantize bit. with a metronome, it will most likely mess up your stuff. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that's uh, an easy way to program your drums without using your mouse yep. all of the time. So uh, I think it's going to be uh, it for the software side of things. We'll go ahead and uh, wrap this video up. All right, so as you guys saw, um, it's not too difficult to set up uh, any kind of MIDI controller that you want. Um, we used a keyboard. I did a video a long time ago of us setting it up with the electronic drum set. Works the exact same way. The MIDI doesn't care. It's sending the same uh, signal to your computer. So uh, some MIDI keyboards have USB out that you could use mm -hmm. um, instead of having uh, to use the uh, MIDI interface. So if you just want to use it, uh, the keyboard, for uh, drum programming and you don't have uh, an interface with MIDI, look for a keyboard that has a USB out. Um, yeah. That way you can transfer your MIDI notes via USB and you don't need an extra interface for your MIDI out. So um, I think that's going to be it for uh, this week's episode and uh, keep on checking back at the streams um, and uh, check on the forum and we will see you next week in another Limitless Studios episode.